Hey YouTube, thank you for watching. Today we're going to be taking a look at doing some stippling to your P mags, and it's just a quick little easy uh, upgrade you can do to them. Gives you a little bit better grip, and it kind of looks cool and helps identify your mags too. If you're out training or something, you're taking a class or whatever, and you know everybody's got everybody has P mags, so you can kind of do your own little design and easy make it easier to identify uh, what mags are yours. But anyways, uh, to do it, I just got this little wood burner here. Uh, there's like 15 bucks at Hobby Lobby. It's pretty cheap. Yeah, like for the price of one P mag, you can uh, you can uh, do all sorts of stuff too. And it also came with a bunch of different tips. Uh, you got all kinds of tips here to do all kinds of different designs. I I like the dot design, just kind of like what you see here. I tried the uh, I tried making drawing lines on them and stuff, and uh, I didn't didn't like the way it it felt. It didn't feel as good to me. I like the way this feels a whole lot better. So. This is what I've been sticking with, and um, here's a couple I already did. You can see, just kind of adds a little bit more grip, texture to them, and uh, just a little cheap, quick, simple upgrade to do to them. But uh, it's not that hard. It takes about maybe 10 to 15 minutes per P mag, and you can also do it to your Glock, your LCP, uh, you know, any problem or frame handgun that you that you have. Do it to to the grip, give you a little bit better, a uh, little bit better grip and a little bit more texture on it, but it's pretty easy to do just take your little wood burner and pick you a place to start and then uh, I've been using this round tip you can see here and it's a pretty fat tip so it goes pretty easy but just press down on it and you can do you can do it like a, a light press and it won't be as aggressive or you can press down on it really hard and uh, it'll give you a whole lot more of aggressive pattern on it but one thing too is neat like if you, uh, if you mess up don't like it or something you can kind of go back over it smooth it out and there's also another tip in there that works really good it's a flat tip and it just smooths it out real good and then you can go back over it and redo it but it can be kind of tedious but this this tips pretty big it's not some fat so it takes up a lot of a lot of space with each press and about like I said maybe 10 to 15 minutes per P mag and before you do a gun, though, I'd recommend practicing on, I don't know, maybe half a dozen P mags just to make sure you got it down right. Because, you know, you hate to to mess up the grip on a on a Glock or, you know, five six hundred dollar gun or whatever. But that's that's pretty much it. Uh, it's not. It's just a quick little easy upgrade. I like it. It makes a difference to me. And uh, I think that's about it. If you got any questions, let me know, and I'll do my best to answer them. But uh, thank y'all for watching. Have a good one.